Well, well, well. Looks like someone, and that someone's name is Stress Monster 101, fell for our little hot potato prank at Sahara. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft, and it's time to leave her punishment here for her to read. And for some reason, I'm not really sure what has been going on over at Stress's base, but there there are mushrooms floating around. This is really weird. This was a bit of a shock when I came over here. Anyway, let's not get distracted. What we need to do is write down her punishment. Hi Stress, looks like you got spudded. Your punishment is this. Wear the skin and resource pack I send you for your next episode. Quack. Please turn over. If it gets too much, you can take it off any time after two minutes in your episode because this is, um, yeah, well, uh, well you know, it, it, is, it's, it is a little bit weird. This one? Yeah, because she has to wear this skin. And it's, it's, it's a little bit strange. It's, it, it is a little bit strange because I've, I've completely, yeah, she, she's a, she's a duck. She's a mallard duck. Uh, she's got to wear this skin and she's got to put on a resource pack. And this resource pack is going to make some noises that go a little something like this. <laughs> it's just, it's going to quack at random intervals, which is why she's allowed to take it off at any time. Anyway, we've got to crack on with today's episode. And the first thing we need to do is actually head on over to Sahara where we've got a few more bits that we need to do. We started doing a lot of the concrete that is necessary for stocking Sahara, but the concrete machine needs a bit of work. <laughs> oh, it's not just my my walking noise, it's everyone's. <laughs> I'm gonna take I'm gonna change my skin back. This is stress's punishment and not mine. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to improve this thing. We're gonna give it a glass top. I think that a big glass dome, not dome, but a big glass cage on the top will make it look like a redstone brain kind of thing because of the way this is built. Just to cover it up a little bit to make it look, I don't know, just a bit more at home. So let's pop into a time lapse and get this job done. This was a proper architect project because Iskal did the crafting bit, Mumbo did the TNT bit and then I actually did a lot of the work making the concrete and then I've decorated it as well So it's a project that's worked out pretty cool And now I just want to meet up with Mumbo and Iskow and show them the whole thing Check it out dudes. I have made this look a, well, a little bit neater. It does look pretty cool actually <laughs> I, I, mean... I thought for a second you were gonna say I made this and I was like <laughs> That's what I but... thought as well <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just gonna come in <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. You made this? Uh, I made this just to put a bow on it. This is mine now. <laughs> I okay. gotta say though, this looks absolutely amazing on this. I love what you did with the yellow here. I just love what you did with the yellow. Big old box. I, I wanted to like keep it looking because it looks a little bit like a brain, like a redstone brain. So I just sort of put a oh, glass yeah, yeah, yeah. glass cabinet in it, and then that's it. And I've actually I've actually been using this machine, and I've got to say, Scout, it's um, it don't work properly. Well, that's what we I gotta to say, it, it, it definitely doesn't work if you press all the buttons, like... Oh gosh! Oh, don't do that! Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay, here's some information for the... Oh my god! Here's some information for the viewers, he did this the other day, and he broke the machine, I had to rebuild the, 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 the clock. Nice, dude. I well, just, hold on, I, I, I gotta ask. take care of this. I, <laughs> I gotta take care yeah, of this first. I, I just wanna ask, what are you gonna do with all this stuff that you've just spat out? Uh... Have, have you actually you throw it on the floor any, and have it any concrete? Check it out. I've actually made a bunch of concrete though using, using the machine. Oh my word, this nice. is actually quite yes. impressive. So the machine is working then? Yeah, we can totally the machine is working. We can stop what I've made here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we, we should, however, take a pretty big price because if you think about it, there's a lot of sand and gravel in these. Dude, yeah. Even though we have a fantastic machine. This took machine. so long, but we cannot yeah. undercharge yeah. for this. Seriously. No. No. Two no, I agree. Two diamonds per stack? Two diamonds per stack, minimum. Yeah, That's still a good least. price because that is, least, yeah. that is two stacks of sand, two stacks of gravel, the work, and the dice. We should take this to the meeting room anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Do you appreciate the fact that I've put in loads of these entrances and exits here everywhere so you can just fly in and yeah. out? Yeah, so you can fly in and out. Yeah, that's like smart. That. Yeah. There should be no more roofs. 
<laughs> no, yeah, just remove all the rooms. We don't need them. Well, I've, I've, uh, just before we start this meeting, I just want to take time to appreciate how beautiful it is in here all of a sudden. Yeah. I wonder who did great. that. Is this, is this you, Iskel, the average Sahara customer and it's someone, someone <laughs> yes. with a moustache? I <laughs> see the moustache, yes! Dude, I was, I was sitting here for like an hour trying to position, position that black tie. So, moustache. Mumbo, Mumbo is the average Sahara customer. <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, yeah, oh, have cool. you noticed I've got, I've got a nice new chair too. I was going to say, where's your button? Get, get back on your button. You, you've still, no. You're still relegated. <laughs> No, no, the, the buttons. The, well, the, I don't know if you remember. I put it. I put it back on top of your chair, so oh. it's up there. Oh, that. <laughs> that, that that's yeah, your that's chair. My, okay, that's, right. that's my chair. You can sit there. I didn't like it when you were sitting up there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Have you guys had a little look at the uh, uh, Sahara actually. now membership? Yeah, yeah. No, before we get onto this, actually. Yeah. Um, back onto my chair. Can you make sure that my chair is decommissioned? I I can't remember if I decommissioned it. You just have to give it a press. Decommissioned. What do you yeah, mean? need to make sure I deactivated my chair. There's a. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh, for goodness. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo. <laughs> I'll see you later, boys. I, I I don't really fancy talking about the Sahara Now memberships. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Um, so so you... I'll I'll catch you. I'll catch you in the next meeting, boys. Uh, it's been nice. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. <laughs> I, 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 he's still going. <laughs> Never mind that I just cleaned up and fixed yeah. the conference room. <laughs> no wonder he's, yeah, he literally just said, yeah, no more roofs. He was... He, he was having us on. Oh, He's still going. <laughs> yes. I can't believe he I, broke Sahara I, just to get out of talking about his. Let's be honest. We all we all know that he's lost. He's, he only sold two, yeah. and one of them was to himself. You know. <laughs> oh no, you did. I did. did win, I did. I sold oh. one more than you. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, with the last voice that I have with this cold illness, I will say. You deserve it with that blimp. That Yay. blimp is... But what do I win? I don't know. We I, I, was, really... I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah. We haven't really set any prize or anything. That is crazy. <laughs> and just... he destroyed the room. <laughs> just just <laughs> broke everything. <laughs> what did yeah. he do? Is... <laughs> <laughs> he put a piston behind this. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, I did notice the piston earlier. How I long thought has it was he decorate. been planning this? Well, we've made Wait, an insane amount of diamonds. If we actually pop all these together, yeah, how many I diamonds? I want to see how that? many we have. That is what, one thousand one hundred diamonds right there. I feel like we need to show these off. Like our vault is too hidden over there. We should like put this out in the open, maybe outside the front of the shop, and just say like, yo, 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 we got so many diamonds. Ah, uh, yeah, bragging I, rights. I, I, bragging rights. I like that. I like that. We are definitely better than Concorp now. Yep. Diamonds wise, so yeah, hundred percent. Iskal, you wanna you wanna find a nice location for us to plant all of our diamonds and show off, especially. Oh, is there a yes. way to make it just so that Scar can see it from Cherry? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make it tall enough so that Scar can I, see I, it. I, lo I love that. I love that we've now made over a thousand diamonds, and the the immediate thing that goes into your head is, let's show it off. <laughs> Well, what's the, the point? What's I'm the point the of having the diamonds? <laughs> Unfortunately, this is uh, Sahara land out here, and I'm a th I'm thinking that this is actually the best place for it. So I think we're gonna have to take this down in the Sahara Gardens and make this our diamond vault. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I mean, this th this was only here for opening up, so I'm gonna start yeah. chopping it down. This was here for opening Sahara, and Sahara is open. Sorry. So we don't need a tent anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel bad. Sorry, sorry, folks. <laughs> Did you kill the cow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, false, but we, we need this land. We need our garden back. <laughs> we can take out all the, the dispensers as well. They look kind of weird. Yeah, this has been a neglected part of everything for a while. So here's a little time lapse of myself and Iskal putting together the big diamond case. And I'll be honest, we cheat a little bit, but I think it looks pretty cool. This is to show off and show everybody, particularly good times with Scar, how many diamonds we've got. And I think that's pretty cool. 
I just started recording and I'm genuinely stuck. <laughs> I don't really know what's happened. Look at this. Help! Why does this always happen to me? What is going on? I'm stuck in fly mode. I should probably just wait for someone to come and find me, but this is so strange. Can I even fly? <laughs> this is... Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, right, we're off. So, that's quite a lot of the chores we had out of the way. Look at this. We have got one big pile of diamonds to show off. Hi, Impulse. Uh, check it out. We got ourselves a pile of diamonds. Sahara is officially rich, but not that rich. You might have seen, if you looked closely at the uh, time lapse, that, um, let's just make sure that Impulse isn't watching. Don't know where he's gone. But if we go inside, you'll see that there's, um, there's a little bit of bamboozling trickery going on here, because it's, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's completely hollow on the inside. Uh, maybe one day we will fill these full of diamond blocks, but for now, I think we're gonna have to just let people believe that this is uh, legitimate because at the moment it's hollow. I think what we should do is actually make a little secret room in there. I think we should have like a secret hideout to, to hang out in, just the architect guys. But imagine this, when we get even more diamonds, this will become even more full and impressive. So this is a big, hey everyone, Sahara has made some diamonds at last. We officially broke even and then made some profit. Check it out. But that's not the only thing that we need to do today. We actually have a few other things to do. The biggest of which is to found my new event. This is going to be amazing. So I just need to choose a spot to make it before I explain exactly how this is going to work. And I've got to admit, the shopping district is getting pretty full. It's not easy to slot anything in in terms of build anymore. I don't actually need that much space for it. It's not particularly big. This is just somewhere to sign up. However, I do need it to stand out. Since this is an event, maybe I'll go and find somewhere in Hermitland to make this. What on earth? Someone's made it- Ah, oh, the jingler. Jingle land. I don't think so. I don't think so. Baby ice, it's, uh, it's the, the renaming of all the shops. Now that's uh, not very original. <laughs> I think the jingle is just more annoying than anything else at this point. So let's find a, a nice place. Oh, I thought that was me. Oh, okay, it just hadn't loaded in. I thought I was just floating there. Okay, right. There's a clear space here right next to Dig Straight Down. Let's build it right here and not even have two thoughts about it. So, what is this new hermit event. This is a game for everyone and anyone to get involved in. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so this game is called Demise. And the game is actually pretty simple, but it's gonna take a few months to play out. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an explanation of this game. Instead of just talking at you like this, I'm gonna explain it with a bit more of an infographic and explain the rules of the game. The goal of the game is simple. You need to be the last hermit alive. Now, everyone automatically starts off alive and they go about their daily hermit craft business. Eventually, someone will die, whether by accident or not, who knows? And when you die, you have officially lost the game and you are out. And you have to change your skin to be monochrome so that everybody knows that you are dead. However, the game isn't over for you. You are now on the dead team, and it is your job to help the other lively hermits to join your team. And you can do this by laying traps and definitely not PvP. Once those people have died, they are then also on the dead team, and they can help everyone else to join your team as well. Eventually, everybody ends up on the dead team and has to work together to get the last few people that are alive. This is the ultimate game of cat and mouse, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, now that you understand the game, I think we can all agree that this is going to be extremely, extremely fun. But I now need to make the sign-up area, and it's actually not going to be that complicated. I just want to kind of make a big skull here, so it shouldn't be too... Oh wait, skulls are actually really tough to build. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Skulls are actually really difficult. Unless I go for like pixel art, this is gonna be tough. Unless, unless I don't go for a skull, I go for more like a skeleton hand. That might, that might actually be easier copping out of it because skulls, skulls are really tough. So here's the sign up chest. This is going to be super simple. And then all I've got to do is make some spooky skeletal fingers that go over the top of this board. And that should make it nice and spooky and themed around this whole this whole thing. To be honest with you, this is literally just the list of who's signing up, so it really, it's really like not that important. It's not going to affect anything. This is just to get people to try and sign up, and we'll see what happens from there. Turns out hands are actually pretty difficult to build as well. Yeah, just anything like building a human or organic that's like meant to look right instead of just, you know, Minecraft, because building a Minecraft character is pretty easy, but actually building a real hand, not so easy. Not so easy. It's definitely not the most beautiful hand in the uh, entire world. I um, I genuinely have tried to make this look a bit more realistic, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's not been easy actually. Um, I've I've really really been trying to make this work. Uh, so I think this is what I have to do. Either way, I don't want to take up too much space here in Hermit Land. I just want to get people's attention, and this should do that. This should do that. I mean, even if people go, what the heck is that? Oh, wait, is that a hand? Oh, oh, it'll still have worked. Now, I just need to do the actual admin part of this game and get people to sign up. So, all we need now is a quick lectern and then make this area look a little bit better, I think. I now have like three bases where I can get items from and I still have to come over to Hippie Land to get stuff. And this game has come just in time for Halloween. Although I think this game will actually last much longer than Halloween, it's still pretty cool nonetheless that it's come just in time for October, which is often referred to as Spooktober. Okay, that took an awful long time to write, but I'm gonna take you through it anyway. New Hermit event starts the 15th of October, noon GMT. I have to do that because you might die before or after or whatever. You need to know exactly when it starts. This game is called Demise. This is a new game where the goal is simple. As you guys know, don't die. Pay 50 diamonds, add your name to the list, and then proceed to live as long as you can in Minecraft. There's a cap though. If you die, you lose. But you are not out of the game. If you die, you join the dead team and must change your skin to be monotone or dead. Your new goal as part of the dead squad is simple. You must help the people who are still alive to not live anymore. However, there is no PvP allowed, so you must think of another way, traps, to help the alive folk. Everything else is up to you. Some final points. This game is dangerous and you may lose your items. You must be okay with this when you sign up. I do not want to see anybody getting angry because a trap accidentally or intentionally got some items rid. You need to be okay with that when you sign up, which is why you also have this. God armor, which is what all of us are wearing in, in the game. That's uh, that's this stuff here. It's God armor. Look how many um, enchantments there are on this. You can't do this anymore. So this is, um, this is really unfair armor. Um, but the point is, the God armor makes this game too difficult and unreliable, etc. So, when you sign up, please take some armor from the chests provided. You can enchant them in any way you please. So, basically, you can't wear your God armor, you've got to wear either iron, gold, or leather, it's up to you. If you die to a bug, the death does not count. Everyone starts alive, the dead may team up if they want to. The alive may team up if they want to. Go about your business as usual. If you die when you are not recording, record a funny rendition of it to show in your video. Good luck and stay alive. And if I've forgotten something, I'll, I'll add it later. This is, you know, it's quite, a, it's quite a long book. So here we go. We'll pop that down there. Now I need to actually set up a bunch of chests with some armor in, which I actually did not think about at all. Man, this is going to be good. Uh, I need a, I got my fresh book for names. All right, so all we got to do is craft up a bunch of the gold stuff and then that's pretty much the game complete and then in three days time it will begin whether people are ready or not. 
And hopefully we can get most of the hermits to sign up before then. But they can't sign up too long after it starts. Once it starts, it starts and that's it. So we'll have to make sure people sign as much as possible. I may have made... I think I made one too many gold boots. <laughs> I'm officially the first one to sign up. And just because it's my game doesn't mean that I don't have to pay. So here I go. I've signed up. There's my 50 diamonds. That is the prize pool for this game. And Demise is officially open for, well, for everything. So I've got to get rid of my... I've got to get rid of my armor, and it's time to start being very, very careful. Now, I'm going to opt in for the gold, because I think it's hilarious. Um, I'm only going to need that stuff, and then I need to get this stuff enchanted right away. Oh my good, this is going to be a different look to get used to. This is what I'm going to be like while I'm still alive in the game of Demise. Although, it doesn't really matter if I die now, because the game, remember, the game doesn't start until then. So even if I die now, not a big deal, so I don't have to actually put this on until then. However... As soon as it hits October 15th, the game begins. And then we have to keep a lookout for anybody that dies in the game. So hopefully we can get every single hermit to sign up. So I might as well actually go straight back over to the shopping district and get this armor enchanted out the wazoo so I'll be ready. Excuse me? I mean, that's perfect for that. If you could just like fly around here, circle this, that would be awesome. And also I'd like to hear in the comments who do you think will be the first hermit to go? I think it's going to be Scar or Mumbo. Not sure who, but I think, I think I'll put my diamonds on Scar for this one. He does have the most deaths in the game so far. So now that we're here, let's go and pick up some books to make this happen. And it is done. I think we should probably get used to this new armor. Although we've got a few days to prepare ourselves for this challenge, I actually want to see how easy it is to actually die, because I'll need to be very, very careful. Oh, just a tiny bit of flying damage? Really, really hurt. Basically, everyone's going to live in fear of this game for a little while. I bet even flying down this tunnel becomes difficult, because if you just hit yourself once... Yep. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Now, now we know. I'm not, I'm not on the dead team. I was just testing the armor. The game hasn't started yet. It's not starting for a, a few days. Um, but now I know. Now I know this is not going to be easy. I think quite a lot of people will die quite quickly. Everyone will have to be careful. Can I change my vote to, to me to die first? This is going to be a lot of fun. Well, that is actually it for today's video. We did a lot of stuff. We have made this. We have had a meeting. We have shown off our diamonds. And more importantly, we have just set up the coolest game in Hermitcraft history. So, well, actually, I, I can't say that. Uh, we set up a cool game. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and do let me know what you think of the game in the comments down below and who you think will make it all the way to the end and who's going to die first thank you very much for watching and goodbye I need to go and get my stuff back now I need an ender chest I hope my stuff doesn't despawn